Hi, I'm Lin, a PhD candidate at Toulouse School of Economics. I'm working on development economics and applied microeconomics. Now I will briefly introduce my job market paper. My job market paper is titled Marriage, Migration and Migration Policy, Evidence from Hukou Reform in China. In this paper, I study how marriage prospects affect migration responses to migration policies. To do that, I estimate the multi-region dynamic migration marriage model and quantify the effect using Chinese data. Why do people migrate to more developed areas? As for the driving forces, besides better income, public services, and amenities, marriage prospects are important but largely overlooked. By marriage prospects, I mean the opportunities of finding spouses with higher income or other desirable characteristics, such as being a local. Why migrants value local spouses? This is because nowadays migration policies are widely used to restrict migrant access to benefits. You may think of the examples in the US, migrants face policy restrictions on green cards in order to enjoy permanent residency. In the internal migration in China, migrants also face policy restrictions to get local reg registration, which is important to access public services. In both cases, marriage with locals allow migrants to overcome these policy restrictions and enjoy these benefits. Migrants are shown to adjust their spouse choices according to migration restrictions in the US and the EU. Despite the importance of marriage prospects, how they shape migration responses to migration policies has not been studied by the literature. It is an important question because we see a surge of migration regulations around the world. It is important to have a better idea of how these policies affect the number and the characteristics of migrants. In this paper, I study two questions. First, how do marriage prospects affect migrant flows? To do that, I will quantify the effect of marriage between locals and non-locals and decompose the channels proposed by the literature. Second, how do marriage prospects shape migration responses to migration policies. I will also quantify this effect. To do that, I embed marriage matching model in a migration model to allow endogenous spouse choices. I will first illustrate the policy impact using a two-region theoretical model. Then I estimate the multi-region dynamic migration marriage model using Chinese data, and then with this model, I would answer the research questions with the counterfactual exercises. Let me introduce the conceptual framework. In my paper, I study the merit-based migration policy. This is captured by the probability that migrants can become locals. This probability K can be different for migrants with different characteristics. As a migrant, individuals gain from wage and marriage prospects. As a local, individuals can get additional local benefits and marriage prospects as locals. Migrants benefit from local spouses by having partial access to local benefits. This is captured by B. B is greater than zero and smaller than one. My paper studies the impact of policy K through marriage prospects, controlling what migrants can get from marrying locals. There are two types of channels. First, the substitution effect. It captures that with the increase of K, migrants can get additional benefit from the marriage prospects. The second is a composition effect because with the increase of K, it changes the participants in the regional marriage market and thus affects everyone in this market. For example, when K increases for high-skilled migrants, because of the composition effect, the number of low-skilled migrants would increase as well because they have more opportunities of marrying locals 
and enjoy this partial access to local benefits. The main results are as follows. In the theoretical analysis, I show that an increase in probability for high-skilled migrants to become locals would encourage the migration of low-skilled migrants and may even reduce the average skill level of migrants. In the empirical analysis, I conduct two types of counterfactual exercises on the number of migrants at the age 20 to 35 in large cities in 2000. The first exercise shows that intermarriage matters for both genders. It increased migration of women by 14.6% and of men by 5.9%. The privilege that the migrants get by marrying locals, captured by B, explains one third of this effect. The second type of exercises conduct the counterfactual policies of removing migration restrictions for all the migrants. Neglecting the policy impacts through marriage prospects, we would underestimate the migration of men by 30% and of women by 40%. We would also overestimate the inflow of highly educated migrants. This paper mainly contributes two strands of literature. The first is on how migration decisions respond to migration policies. I point out the importance of policy impact through marriage prospects. The previous literature mainly studied this question, taking the family structure as given, or only look at migration as individual choices. The insights of this paper are not only relevant for China, but also for immigration regulations in other countries. Second, this paper contributes to the literature on how marriage prospects affect migration decisions. I quantify the effect of intermarriage between locals and non-locals. And I also decompose the channels that are proposed or discussed by the literature. You can find the full paper on my website. You can also contact me by email. Thank you very much for listening.